In this new video, we're going to find the power uh, dissipated by uh, resistance and the voltage um, across a circuit. But I got to warn you that see, this circuit is going to be a little bit complicated, which basically means that uh, it's going to take quite a little bit of time. Uh, we're still at the very beginning, so it's not going to be extremely complicated, it's just going to be slightly a bit more complicated than usual. Um, so let's draw it. Um, we're going to have a resistance here, a node, another node, a resistance here. And then over here, another resistance. And down here, a resistance, a voltage generator pointing in this direction. Then we're gonna have from here another resistance and then a voltage generator like so V1 then here we're gonna have a resistance here we're gonna have a resistance and then a voltage generator plus V2 minus and here we're going to have another resistance and oh shoot yeah it should be a current generator um, and then uh, yeah well here just the resistance okay so I'm going to call this one R1 this one R2 this one R3, this one R4, this one R5, uh, this one R6, this one R7, this one R8, and this one here R9. Um, this one's gonna be my I3. This one's gonna be my I4. Um, and those are going to be my point A, B, C, and D. And the problem is saying um, for the circuit on the left, we know that um, V1 is equal to 12 volts, so it could be a normal battery. Uh, V2 is equal to 6 volts. I3 is equal to 1 amps. I4 is equal to 2 amps. And RI is equal to I ohms find the power uh, PR1 dissipated by the resistance R1 and the voltage VAP okay so there, there is nothing fancy in what is uh, asking us to find uh, the problem uh, but it's the circuit itself that uh, it takes um, it takes a bit of um, calculations so um, right now the idea is to 
calculate to basically find um, and calculate the equivalent. Well, let's be clear. This one is a mess. If you find this one and you find something like this, it's a mess to you to to make your calls. Um, so it's better to find the equivalent circuit of Thevenin. Uh, and I'm gonna do that between the couples of uh, the node AC, uh, AD, uh, DB, and CB, okay? So I'm gonna do that. I'm basically gonna, gonna, gonna find the equivalent circuit of Germanin between the couple of nodes AC AD um db cb so let me pick uh, the blue pen so um the equivalent circuits will be well let's say um we would have first of all we would have this one will be our my point c then i will have a uh, plus minus v x i will have a uh, resistance uh, r x then this one at the top will be my point a and I'm gonna have another resistance, uh, which is R uh, Y. Um, and then here, this will be plus V Y minus uh, generated of uh, current. Then this one will be my point D. I have another resistance down here uh, till get down here in which there is uh these other generators i'm gonna call this rz the resistance and the generator of voltage vz and then here i would have another resistance and then another generator of current which i'm gonna call vw and this one of course rw okay Oh, and this one is my point B. Uh, and I'm going to define my current uh, as this current here. And I'm going to call this I. Um, so for... Whoops. So for um, the nodes AC of the circuit on the left uh, on the left of the nodes AC I will uh, I would have well a resistance then I would have um, and here again, and then on this end, open, and down here, the same thing, and then here, open, and in between, resistance, and then a generator of voltage, um, and just a resistance here, so this one will be my point A, this one will be my point C, uh, this one will be R1, R2, R3, 
plus minus V1. And I will be defining my current here as IV1. And the one down here, um, the one down here, basically as IR3. So um, the equivalent resistance in this case will be R1 parallel with R3 plus R2. So R1 parallel with R3 plus R2, uh, which will give me REQ equal to, well, um, RI was I, so it was R1 in parallel with 3 plus 2 ohms. So REQ is um, 1 times 3 over 1 plus 3, everything plus 2. So R E Q is uh, 3 over 4 plus 2. So R E Q is actually, well, 4, 3, 8. R E Q is just 11 over 4, which I'm not going to write it as um, a fraction. I'm just going to be writing as... Uh, well, 11 over 4 is um, 11 over 4 is 2.75 ohm. So IV1, in this case, so this one here that we're trying to find um, in this very moment, um, <clears throat> will be V1, uh, so the, the, the generator of voltage over uh, the resistance that we have, um, that we have, no, not this one, sorry, the resistance that we have just found, so the R equivalent, so over R equivalent. Uh, therefore, IV1 um, is 12, because it was 12 volt uh, from here, um, yeah, from here, 12 volt, V1, 12 volt, over our equivalent that we had just found, so 2.75. So, <clears throat> 12 over 2.75 is actually 4.36 amperes. Um, so now we can find IR3, which is just IV1, times R1 over R1 plus R3. So R1 over R1 plus R3. Which is gonna give me um, 4.36 times R1, which is one, over one plus three. So I R3 is actually, um, 4.36 over uh, 3 plus 1 is 4. So IR3 is 4.36 uh, over 4 is just 1.09 amperes. So now, um, now for the nodes. AC, um, I'm going to have that Rx will be R1 parallel with R2 parallel with R3. So if I plug numbers back into this, I would have uh, 1 parallel with 2 parallel with 3. So Rx will be 1 times 2 over 1 plus 2, plus 2 parallel with 3. So Rx will be 2 over 2 plus 1 is 3. So 2 thirds parallel with 3. Um, <clears throat> 2 thirds, I'm just going to write 2 thirds uh, basically as uh, 0.66. 
um, parallel with three because it's easier to uh, calculate with the calculator. Um, so 0 0.66 times three over 0 0.66 plus three. So our x, x, x will be, well, we have 3.66 at the bottom and uh, 0.66 times 3 is uh, 2. Um, so our x is actually um, 2 over 3.66, uh, which is 0. Uh, <clears throat> 54 and something yeah 0 0.54 sex so oh point i'm gonna go with 0.54 ohms and then um vx would be r3 times i r3 so vx uh, is 3 times 1.09 uh, IR3 which we had just found so VX is really going to be um, 3.27 amperes so now for the nodes Um, AD mm. for the notes AD um, we will basically have uh, RY which is R4 parallel with R5 so RY will be 4 parallel with 5 so RY is 4 times 5 over 4 plus 5 so our y is gonna be 20 over 9 um, so 20 over 9 is uh, <clears throat> it's just 2 point well our y is just 2.22 ohms um and then we can find vy um which is gonna be v2 minus r4 times v2 over r4 plus r5 so plugging numbers back into this we will have v2 um which is, which was um we, did we have v2 um hold on a second um so it will be minus um four times v2 so four plus five uh, V2 was actually um, hold on a second what I'm doing here um, yeah V2 was 6 volts so V2 is actually 6 volts so V2 is 6 volt yeah the problem um, it was right here on the top I should really be writing <laughs> at home those things um, in the in, whenever I draw circuits um, anyway so uh, v2 minus r4 times v2 over r4 plus v plus r5 so 6 minus 4 times 6 over 4 plus 5 so vy as 6 minus um, 4 4 times 6 is uh, 24 so 24, 4 plus 9, plus 5 is 9. So Vy is actually, uh, well, let me just, 9. It will be, it will be 9 times 6, which is 54. 
uh, minus 24 and this is a 5 54 minus 24 um, so vy is actually 54 minus 24 is just 30 30 over 9 um, yeah I'm just gonna use the calculator here to 30 over 9 is 3.33 so 3.33 uh, yeah just gonna go 3.33 volt okay um then we're gonna do it for the node db as well so i'm just gonna go on and do it for the node uh db as well so for ah come on for the node db uh, so db we have rz uh, rz which is just um, r9 which is 9 ohms because it was r ri so r9 is 9 ohms um, and then vz um which is just r9 times i uh four so vz is nine times i4 which was two um so vz is 18 volts and we're gonna go on and do it for uh all, all the nodes so uh, what's missing well it's missing the the last node uh, so CB is missing I think yeah CB is missing so for the node CB node C uh, B we're gonna have VW um, well yeah first uh, what am I doing gotta find the resistance first uh, so RW is R6, well, but R, yeah, because R6 is just 6 ohms, so yeah, that's <laughs> basically it. Uh, and uh, VW, then, I can write it, uh, is R6 times I3, um, so VW is just 6 times I3, which was 1, so VW is just 6 volts. Okay. So now, um, by analyzing the circuit, okay, uh, that we have here, uh, I've been finding the, all, all the nodes, and um, by analyzing the circuit, the simplified circuit, okay, the simplified circuit here, um, I can actually apply the uh, Kirchhoff voltage rule uh, to a d b c so if i apply the kirchhoff voltage rule to a a d b a d uh, b c i will basically get um all all those all those things equal to zero um so it will be basically vx minus i r x minus i r y minus i r z minus i r w uh, minus v y uh, minus v z plus v w all equal to zero so Applying the Kirchhoff voltage law to A D A D B C, I get. 
what do I get? Well, um, as I said, I get Vx minus Rx plus Ry plus Rz plus Rw times I minus Vy minus Vz plus Vw all equal to zero. And since I, I want to find I, uh, I'm going to get uh, Vx minus Vy minus Vz plus Vw, everything over uh, Rx plus Ry plus Rz plus Rw. So I is actually uh, 3.27 minus 3.33 minus 18 plus 6 over 0 0.54 plus 2.22 plus 9 plus 6 so i is actually equal to negative um 12.06 over um 17.76 so if i divide those two guys here and get negative 0 0.68 times so now i've got uh, so now I have got I, but it's not over yet. <laughs> it's not over yet because uh, I'm gonna find VAB because the problem uh, was asking me a VAB, the voltage VAB. So uh, VAB is actually equal to VW plus VX minus rx x plus rw times i so vab is actually going to be equal to 6 plus 3.27 minus uh, 0.54 plus 6 times negative 0.68 so va B is 6 plus 3.27 uh, minus 6.54 times negative 0.68. So VAB is actually equal to uh, 6 plus 3.27 minus uh, negative uh, 4.472. Um, which doesn't really make sense, but uh, to have those many um, digits um, or, or after the the point. But anyway, uh, so uh, this would actually be a six point. Uh, well, um, would be six plus three point twenty seven uh, plus negative and negative so this giant guy here uh, 4.4472 so VAB um, is actually 13.71 volts okay so we have found VAB uh, at, at last <laughs> Uh, as we have found the voltage VAB, so now everything that is left is the power PR1 dissipated by the resistance R1. So PR1. So PR1. So the power PR1, which the problem is asking, is going to be given by uh, VHC squared over R1. So PR1. It's going to be 3.63 squared over R1, which is just 1 ohm, so it's just uh, 3.63 squared. So PR1 is, uh, well, 3.63 squared is 13.17 watts. So that's it. Whew, that's been, uh, yeah, it, it wasn't. It wasn't straightforward, this one, uh, actually. Um, 
but you know it took quite some time to find first the voltage and then uh, the, the the power uh, dissipated by the resistance R1 but yeah um, everything comes to an end hopefully also the <laughs> circuit analysis problems so as you can see uh, by getting on and on uh, with uh, lectures um, and getting into these uh, exam you're actually gonna get things um, a, bit, a little bit harder uh, which as you can see there, there I mean there is nothing hard in this uh, it's just long like long you have to you have to think about what you're doing and um, and get everything right which is not easy uh, but still it's doable it's perfectly doable um, so again um, yeah this was this was a, yet another example and um, I'm gonna go back um, to do a few things and then I'm gonna you, you will find another video about another example which I'm gonna be doing uh, shortly after. Alright, cheers!